Hello, I'm George Lozell with Quadrant International, and we are delighted to tell you about a patent that we have just been issued recently for a process we developed for assembling haulbacks. If you've ever assembled a haulback, you know how difficult it can be, and you know if you've been pinched by something like half-inch cubes, how painful it can be. Well, I had to assemble a bunch of them recently, and when I did, I decided I can come up with a better way of doing this. And so I had a hole drilled in the magnets, and then we used a steel rod. But the process is, I knew that by making a hole in the magnet, I'm making it weaker. I wanted to minimize how much we weakened the magnet, and I wanted to size the rod to be the right size so we get this magnet assembly. So we have the magnet, we have the first one, it's on the steel rod, it'll slide up and down, we move it to one end. Now, I take the second magnet in my haulback set and I push it together and it repels at a distance, but when it gets closer, like a millimeter or two away, it actually sticks. This is what we found in our testing with the model. If we size the rod correctly, the magnets will not repel, but they attract each other. So one by one, we tested it in our process to find right size rod to make the magnets attract each other. Now we have a haulback that doesn't need all that epoxy on it. It doesn't have all of the other problems that you have in assembling a haulback. It sticks together with its own magnetic strength, making a much stronger and easier to work with haulback. So what we have is a completed haulback assembly that we may have lost one or two percent of the strength on these magnets because of adding the rod instead of the magnet material, but we have got a magnet and a haulback set that is much safer and easier to work with. Now, while it's interesting to have your standard linear haulback and an easy way to make it, we also have a lot of customers that contact us about making stronger motors. And the one thing about a stronger motor is it needs stronger magnetic fields. And many times they will ask about it, well, how can we use a haulback? The problem with a haulback has always been, how can you make a haulback that's not gonna fly apart, that you know the epoxy is always going to hold? This solves that problem. By being able to put the magnet through the magnets together with the steel rod, keeps it together even if we don't use any epoxy. So we wondered how this would work with arc segments. So we made a set of arc segments to make a haulback out of it. I have the steel rod and we put it in the hole. The first piece is in place. Now I take the second piece, and this is magnetized so that the pole is on the top. And as I line it up, it comes together, repelling, but then it attracts and sticks. We'll see how this looks if it was part of a actual motor set. As I look at these, you can see that we have north, south, then we'd have south, north, north, south, so we're alternating the poles as we go across. When we would put this one with it, they would come together with enough gap in between for you to put the coils in, and then you'd have an electric motor. And it'd be very powerful because of the field strength you have in between it. So we are very excited to have a chance to share this information with you, and we hope that you enjoyed watching and learned a little bit about how to put haulbacks together safely. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.